All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. We are filming something very exciting today, and that is a Stephora VIB sale haul. Now, I'm not gonna lie, this is uh, one of two orders that I placed. <laughs> um, I woke up the morning of the sale and realized that stuff was already starting to sell out. So I panicked, ordered, and then uh, once some of the things that I wanted came back in stock, I placed a second order. So this isn't all the stuff I ordered. Uh, however, it is um, definitely the bigger of the two orders. Anyways, so I ordered some of my ride or die holy grail products that I know I'll be using throughout the year because this is a great opportunity to stock up on them and save a little money. Um, and then I also ordered some stuff that I've just been curious about. So yeah, the plan is to go through all this stuff, put it all on my face, see what works, what doesn't, and what I ultimately want to keep and what I want to return. Ooh, we have some rare beauty samples. Ooh, I'm really excited about that. You know what? I'm gonna try one of these out because I ordered um, the Sage Plus, S-A-I-G, S-A-J-E, I don't, I don't know, it's a newer brand, um, but that's coming in the second order, so, so we'll be testing this out. All right, so hands down, my favorite moisturizer that I've been using for, I don't know, at least a year or two now is the uh, Drunk Elephant, um, which one is this? The Lala Retro Whipped Cream. I use this before I go to bed and also um, before applying my makeup in the morning. I bought two of these because I know I'm gonna go through them. Um, I already have one open, so I've actually already applied this to my skin this morning. Um, so I'm gonna keep these two in the box. Also another skincare product that I went ahead and purchased was uh, the Unseen Sunscreen from Supergoop. Um, I've never tried any of their products before, but I've heard amazing things about their sunscreen. I do use a sunscreen every day, which is important that you do. Um, and I've been using the Josie Marin one. However, I think I've had that bottle for, I mean, over a year now, even though I say that I use it every day. Um, it just lasts a really long time. So I felt like maybe it was time for a new one. Maybe it's expired. Unseen scrunch, unseen sunscreen, unseen, Unseen sunscreen, unseen skin. Oh my God. SPF 40 is a weightless, colorless, scentless, oil-free formula for face that leaves behind a velvety soft finish. It also acts as a makeup gripper primer that's perfect for all skin tones. Oh, I didn't know that. Fantastic. All right, let's try this. I was debating whether to get this one or the glow screen. And to be honest, I probably should have gotten both and then just returned one, but oh well. Wow, this is very, transparent. It feels exactly like the Smashbox primer, actually. And there's no scent to it. It feels very silicone-y. It really has zero scent. Okay, I mean, it's pretty weightless. I mean, it feels exactly like that Smashbox primer, the one that with the photo finish one, I think it's called. The one that like kind of put primers on the market. It feels very weightless. So I guess we'll just have to see how it, I don't know, wears with my foundation. So because I'm trying out a new sunscreen, I wanna go in with a foundation that um, I know exactly how it wears. And that is the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. Um, this is fantastic. I've raved about it before. I'll link the video where I reviewed this up top. Um, but yeah, I really don't have enough good things to say about this foundation or CC cream. I am gonna be sharing this out today. I'm gonna to be mixing it with the MAC strobe cream. Um, I do this a lot, especially on days where I feel like my skin is looking really nice and even, and I don't need like the full impact of um, this full coverage camo cream. Apply <laughs> that with the beauty blender. Okay, so I think that went on really nicely over top the sunscreen. All right, let me just hop off camera for a second and go put on some concealer. Um, yeah, and then we'll continue. All right, things are all concealed now. So the next two products are probably the ones I am the most excited about. Um, this is the Kosas Cloud Set um, Baked Setting Powder that I've heard amazing things about. And then this other one I actually haven't really heard much about, but it was brand new to NARS, and that is the um, 
Sunkissed Bronzing Cream. It reminds me of that Chanel one. You know, I think it's like the Sol de Soleil or something like that. That was pretty famous that I did have like years and years ago. Anyways, I saw that NARS had just come out with this um, and I've never tried anything in their Laguna bronzing shade. So I just figured, eh, what the hell, let's try it. However, I don't know if I should powder and then apply this or do this first and then powder. I think I wanna do this first because this is kind of a cream product. I think it's a cream product. Let me check. Yep, definitely a cream product. Here, I'll do a little swipe. Very sheer, which is fantastic because I am very pale. So I think how I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna apply it with uh, a foundation brush on one side of my face and then a beauty blender or a beauty sponge on the other side of my face. I don't really know how much to take. That's probably, oh, that's definitely enough. Oh my gosh, look. <laughs> Um, okay. Mm, this smells nice. Oh, it smells like vacation. Well, this is definitely shearing out really nicely. Um, I was a little concerned. A little does go a long way, at least if you're my... <laughs> oh, look at all of this, like, new hair growth I have. Yeah, that's not breakage, I swear. It's new hair growth. I was shedding like crazy at the beginning of my pregnancy, and now that I'm almost to the end of my pregnancy, um, my hair has just like started growing like a weed, and I have not shed one single strand of hair in about three months. Though I hear that that will change after I give birth, so. I think I put a little too much under my chin here, but, cause it's not really, I'm having trouble blending that part out, but it blended so nicely on my cheeks and on my, and I really like this color. It's not, um, it's definitely a bronze color. I would not use this as a contour. And personally, I don't really contour because that's just like not my vibe, but this definitely warms up the face really nicely. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and try it with a sponge on the other side of my face. So I'm just gonna dip it in like this. We'll see what that does. I've used too much, but. Okay, I actually think that I like it better with um, a beauty sponge. I feel like when I used the blending brush, it kind of picked up and um, just moved some of my foundation. Whereas with the, um, the beauty sponge, it didn't at all. And it blends out, I think, nicer. Even though it did blend out well with the brush, but once again, it moved around my foundation underneath. Oh, I really like this. This looks really nice. All right, so yeah, I'm really excited about that bronzer. Um, I didn't know whether I'd like it or not. Uh, I thought that it might be too dark for me. However, it's not. It blended out really nicely. Definitely recommend using it with a beauty sponge. Um, oh God, look. All right, so next we have the Kosas Baked Cloud Set Setting Powder. Um, I got this in the shade uh, airy, which I believe is the lightest shade. Oh, look at this packaging. This packaging is so nice. That's what it looks like on the inside. No scent. Oh, no, no, no. You know what I want to do before I go in with this? I got a sample of um, some of the Rare Beauty blushes. And since I don't have a blush with this order, I have one coming with my next <laughs> Sephora order. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and try out one of these. I haven't tried anything from uh, this Rare Beauty line yet, so I'm very interested to see how this goes. So yeah, this is their Soft Pinch Liquid Blush, um, and I'm gonna be trying it in the shade Bliss. Okay, that's really pretty. However, I will say that you don't have a lot of time to work with it. It didn't blend out that easily. It's definitely a little splotchy on me. I'm gonna try blending it with just my fingers and maybe that, I don't know, does something. Maybe like the warmth of my fingers will melt it into my skin more. Yeah, this, this did apply better on this side with just my fingers. So maybe keep that in mind, but this is a really pretty color. Yeah, like a light peachy pink. All right, now let's go ahead and try the Kosas setting powder. 
I'm so excited for this one. <laughs> it's very airy, geez. Yep, that's beautiful. That's really, really nice. The Hype is Real, my friends. That is a beautiful setting powder. It's really light, really sheer, but I feel mattified, but yet I still have like a little bit of luminosity to the skin. It feels really nice on too. It doesn't make my skin feel tight or anything like that. This is really, really pretty. I know that a bunch of shades in this have already sold out. Um, however, it's so sheer that I think as long as you get like a shade like in your general shade range, you should be fine because this is um, very sheer. Have I said sheer enough? I feel like I'm repeating myself. Now moving on to some brows, I went ahead and bought the Anastasia Brow Pen. I have tried brow pens in the past, um, however, not from Anastasia. And I really wanted to get my hands on the Brow Freeze, that little pot of, I don't know, what is it, wax or soap that cost $8 million? Um, <laughs> but uh, that was all sold out. I bought it in the shade Taupe. Yes, Taupe, I believe. Um, I've used their, what's the other one? I've used other brow products of theirs before. Um, and the shade Taupe always seems to work. So hopefully in pen form, it will work as well. Oh, there's always one brow that's just easier to do than the other. I don't know why. I got a little weird right here, but I think that's just user error. Yeah, I like that pen. I like that color. There are a few drugstore lines that have come out with brow pens. Uh, Milani is one of them and also NYX. I've tried the Milani one. They have a very limited shade range. So there's only three shades so far. Um, so the pen was good. However, I felt like the shade wasn't really a match for me. The NYX one has a much larger shade range and I have that in taupe. However, I have not tried that yet. Um, so I will report back. What is next up? Uh, I picked up two hair products, so I won't be able to uh, test them out now, but I will uh, report back. This is the Olaplex number five. It's the conditioner. I've used this so many times. I've gone through so many bottles. I always pick one or two up when Sephora has a sale, or actually I think they carry it now at ASOS, and ASOS is always doing 20% off, so I guess you can get it there too. But this is fantastic, Olaplex has an awesome line. I love all of their products. However, it's the number five conditioner that has made the biggest difference for me. So that is the one I keep repurchasing over and over and over again. Now for a new hair product that I'm very excited about. Uh, this is the Color Wow Dream Coat Supernatural Spray. Uh, magically transforms texture, amazing humidity proofing powers. And with summer coming up, that is exactly what I need because I have very processed hair and when it hits humidity, it kind of just goes poof. So I'm really interested to see if this works. All right, so I have two products left and they're both lip products. Uh, I bought another Kosas um, product. This is their Wet Lip Gloss Oil. Bought it in the shade Dip. I love lip oils because they tend to give you the same look as a gloss, but they're not nearly as sticky. Um, which means I guess they also don't last as long, but oh well. Like right off the bat, very initially, it kind of looks like um, the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb, the original color. Yeah, here it is, swatched. That's really pretty. It doesn't feel nearly as sticky as a uh, normal gloss would. It feels very moisturizing. And the color's nice too. I really like the applicator. It's like it's like this pointy little guy, and it's really easy to kind of like outline your lips with this, um, and then go in with the center and fill it in with the rest of the product. Yeah, I mean, I think it's really pretty. Once again, I'm not like blown away, but I do like it, and it does feel really nice, so that's good. However, I'm not gonna lie, I am a little more excited about this next uh, lip product, and I went ahead and bought the Charlotte Tilbury. It's their newest addition to their Pillow Talk line. Um, it's the Hyaluronic and Happy Kiss Color Bomb. I have like all of the Pillow Talk lipsticks um, in any formula she comes out with just because I love the color so much. Okay, well right away, 
I'll say that I'm a little disappointed with the packaging. <laughs> um, it feels very cheap, like very cheap. And this was not a cheap lip gloss. All right, let's see. Yeah, and I'm further disappointed with this packaging. Yeah, it's just nothing special and kind of cheap. Okay, just a word to the wise, this only twists up. It does not twist back down. Here's the color. It's a gorgeous color. Let's see how this does on the lips. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's beautiful. That's really, really nice. It's not as sheer as I thought it would be. It definitely packs some color. And it does come in a bunch of different shades. So if you're interested in, um, you know, a more hydrating version of some of her lipsticks, um, yeah, definitely check these out. But also try to get it on sale because this, I don't know, like, eh, eh. Okay, so that is all the products I have to try out for you guys today. Let's just do a quick rundown of what I thought about everything now that it's been on my face for a little while. I'm a little unsure about the Unseen Sunscreen. I feel like my foundation is looking a little drier than normal, um, even with the MAC strobe cream that I had mixed into it. It definitely blurred my pores. However, I don't know, I think it just kind of looks and feels a bit on the dry side. So I don't know, maybe the glow screen uh, would have been the one for me. Um, so I might be returning this, picking up the glow screen instead. We'll see. Now, however, these two products I absolutely love um, and I cannot wait to use more. Um, I think this looks really nice. I want to try it with a couple different foundations and wearing it a couple different ways and just seeing how it applies best. But I think this is a really great bronzer. If you were a fan of the Chanel Sol du Soleil way back in the day, <laughs> um, you might want to try this because I know that Chanel one has, I guess, changed their formula recently. Um, so some people don't like it anymore. Then yeah, maybe this is for you. And this is beautiful. The hype is real, friends. Yeah. This is really, really nice. I'm really liking the way it's sitting on my skin so far. I think it's gonna be perfect for the summer. You know, it's gonna keep you glowy, but still set so you're not just like overly sweaty looking. So that's nice. Uh, this Anastasia brow pen is really nice as well. However, I'm not gonna lie, if I try the NYX one and that one works just as well, then I will be returning this. But the color is really great. I have it in the shade taupe again. So it's nice with some, for someone with like more cool undertones. Um, it's not too warm. And I am curious to try the brow freeze as well. So once that comes back into stock, I'm gonna snatch that up and uh, give that a try too. Now, as for these two lip products, I like them both. Um, I think the colors are beautiful. Um, this isn't as light and as balmy as I thought it was. This still does kind of feel like a lipstick to me. So I guess if you're looking for like a sheer, just like hydrating, true like balm, sort of like those fresh uh, tinted balms, this might not be the one for you because it's it's definitely a little sticky. And the fact that the packaging is nothing exciting is kind of disappointing. However, if you really love the shade Pillow Talk, she does have the Pillow Talk shade in other formulas. There's two other ones. There's the matte lipstick, which was the first, um, and that's really beautiful. But then there's like another hybrid that's like more of a gloss lipstick, which to be honest, there isn't much of a difference between that one and this one. And I think I like that one better. So check that out. Those are just sort of an overview on all the products that I was testing out today. The other ones I bought, I know I already love and will use and will buy over and over and over again. Uh, so yeah, thank you so much for coming on this little video journey with me. The sale lasts, I think, for one more day. So actually, by the time I post this, ooh, um, it might be over, so sorry. But there's always that sale in November. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. We do a bunch of beauty related videos over here and probably some maternity stuff thrown in because I am so pregnant right now. Um, <laughs> you actually can't tell. I've like run out of clothes to wear. So I'm wearing a crop top right now, which is, I hope you have a fantastic weekend. Please subscribe, please like, please hit all the bells and all the buttons or all the whatever that you are supposed to do if you like a video. 
So enjoy your weekend, enjoy your week, and thank you so much for watching.